Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Oh! Much better than I've had a call. Tired? No, I'm good. I, I'm very well. No, I'm okay. Thank you. I love yeah. the requirement for everyone to speak individually. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be a long, long interview. Then you might you. need West Beer. Yeah. The gentleman's <laughs> choice. No, I'm glad nice you reminded pro me. Pro Plus for energy. Yes. <laughs> because you are all going to get a bottle of Sir West Beer. Oh, lovely. And we'll share it. We would have done the interview oh. anyway. Oh, oh thank you. Very we're desperate. Yay. For so, beer. <laughs> <laughs> There's a word for that, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We have a show at the moment through a party. Can you tell us a little bit about it and how you put how you it together? Uh, well, it's something we've been working on for a few months. We, we knew we wanted to do something about a party. Originally, we thought it would be that all the audience were late, and we were really upset about that. We moved away from that into it mainly being about Toby's fear of ageing, uh, Jack's inability to throw a party, uh, and my lack of a family connection, and, and trying to rediscover my lost twin brother. So we just sort of found the plots that worked, and then wrote to support them, really, and some extra bits, like random things. Yeah, the first, the first draft uh, started with us being furious at the, at the audience when they Doesn't came work. in. It Doesn't work. It makes them scared. Yeah. When you shout at people, they are scared. We're too threatening. Yeah. That's the uh, thing. I think we're too alpha. Yeah. I think we were too macho and alpha, and the audience just felt really. I'll tell you, really the beta males never have this problem. No. Let's go with that. Let's yeah. these That's things. not it. Look at us. We're not. We're not alpha. Sorry, just alpha. <laughs> Any of the sketch comedy that you do specifically this show based on any of your own experiences? Anything throwing a party? Yes. I, I, well, I, I'm, I'm very bad at throwing parties and I'm very bad at putting music to throwing parties. I think originally there was a draft of this about, about yes. the music and how bad it was. I, I managed to clear several rooms and actually make people go home with uh, several. <laughs> Several play, plays. Was it Wang Chung's dance? It was Wang Chung's dance. Yeah, dance all day. Dance all day. It's really bad. Within it's a great 20 song. Within 20 seconds, everyone's just like, "Yeah, I'm gonna." It's really late. I'm just gonna go and then it's empty. Said last name. It was someone else's house. That was the best thing about that. I was just left in someone else's house on my own. I once had a party where I, uh, me and my friend Murray went to this party. I went to in Glasgow, and we went to this party. West beer. West beer. <laughs> Glasgow. With a nice beer. Yeah. Oh my god. For a drinking in Glasgow. Um, <laughs> and me and my friend Murray went to this party on Bentinck Street. And uh, we were in this room and we were having a conversation. We realised everyone had left the room. <laughs> and so then we. Then, then <laughs> That's we, great. We, oh, felt, wow. we felt like a gauntlet had been thrown. So we then. <laughs> so come on down. No, to so no. So, so, so for the rest, of, the rest of the party, we went from room to room. Actively trying to clear it. <laughs> I've we, not heard this. And we named it the Bentick Street Debacle. Oh. Uh, and uh, it was the day that me and my friend Murray really cemented our friendship. And we uh, went from room to room clearing them. The only room we failed to clear was the kitchen, uh, because that is where everyone had fled to. And so they had nowhere else to go. Yeah. That was it. it was that garden. The, yeah. It was that on the streets. So we thought we'd done okay. Me. And, and also part of this question is that you were the four sad faces and, and there are only three of you, yeah. so... We're all mates at school, really. I've known this one since we were seven years old and known him since he was eight years old because he's a year younger than us. Yep. We used to just write sketches... They, they were never seen. Yeah, they were, were never seen. The first way I, I, I knew of Jack was that Tom said, he's my nemesis. And I don't think we were totally clear on what nemesis I was. I think we meant, no, I think so. It didn't, didn't mean friend. Isn't that what we thought? It, yeah. means, it means best friend for life. Well, we, if we'd ever pass oh. each other, like, at <laughs> school, we'd just say things like, oh, we meet again, but this time the advantage is mine, and then just move on. But That's they didn't know each other. That's all they had. We didn't try and kill each other. Either. No, no, no. no. Um, yeah, well, so we, I mean, um, we did we did several free friend shows with a with a fourth member, uh, Rachel Lerman, and also Rosie Rosie Fletcher came in the belly last year. Yeah, and that was that was our show last year was uh, with Rosie, uh, and she's gone off. She's joined the Scouts. Girl guides. <laughs> the Scouts. The girl guides. The girl guides. The girl guides. Right? Right? Okay. Yeah. No, it's the girl guides. Which, to be fair, you know, that is. Yeah. Better than we're, comedy. We're down to a three <laughs> man, and they're down to a six million and <laughs> one woman. <laughs> Yeah, I think they really needed the they really needed the bolster the numbers. Yeah. yeah. So we said, all right, guys, guys, go, 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 guys girl guys called us up and said, have you got any have you got any girls? Yeah. And we said, well, one. I mean, yeah, we are one of the she, she non. Is, she is very only. good at guiding guys. 
Yeah, and 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 girling. No, I I don't know what else I can go with this. Girling girls. Girling girls. Girl 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 girl. no, she's very good. No, she's the debauchery that happens at guide camp. I mean, we've heard some I'm stories. Heard. We've heard some stories. Oh, that's tell some you. serious. That'll be ne no. next year. Rosie will do an, a solo Edinburgh show about the debauchery that goes on. Rosie's first. Yeah, Rosie's first Edinburgh show is going to be called My Life in the Girl Guides, a cabaret through the music of Liza Minnelli. But she's actually planned this. Cause no, 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 we We're just right. we are planning this for her. We just know Rosie, if you're oh, watching, you can have that. Yeah, that's yours. I get hit in the face again this year. I almost didn't, and then we wrote we it back put, in. We put our one bit of stagecraft in the set of the show again. Yeah. So the last year our show started with me punching Tom in the face, yeah. uh, and and, and then ending, and then yeah. looked back at why that happened. Three times. Uh, three times we did that punch. Uh, and why then, the cushioning. We were talking. Yeah, we were talking about it uh, this year. We were like, hey, we can do that. Should we do that again? Yeah. That's one of the acting. Tom features. said no, but the good thing about a three-man sketch group, two against one. Yeah. Tri a triumvirate. We yeah. can always. But I love always democracy. Make a decision. Too much to say no. Just loves freedom. Just loves freedom. The troops. Okay, that's what's guys, behind the beards. I think we're done here. Yeah, okay. that's enough. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> <laughs> on that bombshell, <laughs> I, I will let you guys go off and drink your beer. But you can see sad faces through a party at Pleasant all the way until the 26th of August at 4:30 oh p.m. Not the 13th. Yeah. Not on the 13th.